Aloha and welcome. I haven't <laughs> posted in a while because I've been sick. So uh, now I think I've started on the path to recovery. And I'm back to use my powers for good. All right. And in that respect, we're going to take on the German here, NT12K. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Being sick isn't fun. If any of you who have been sick would know that. Um, but it's fun when you can take a day off from work. Especially that last day when you're still sick, technically. You still have a fever, technically. You still have a cough. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. But there's still a side of you that knows that, hey, I could work but well, I should prioritize my my health you know so that's what I'm doing yeah it's just a job man don't don't like don't overthink it okay so our opponent has started out rather slowly in this opening and we're going to try to exploit that to our advantage. I've noticed in the 3 plus 2 time format, especially, uh, time advantage is a big, big thing. As long as you can keep the game more or less on an even keel, but maintain a good time advantage, you're going to be good in 3 plus 2. Okay, now what do we have here? He's clearly preparing C4. But it's such a rambunctious move that, well, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. It's just, there's got to be something wrong. And I think this is the, this is the way to punish that, maybe. Punish is a strong word, but... <coughs> it prevents his, I mean... It silences his C4 plan, and if he goes like this, I could go up, or I could just solidify it. <coughs> yeah, I'm not making it up, man. I am sick. Definitely take that off, or what should we do? Because this is also tempting, but it becomes a difficult piece to hold on to, potentially. It just might make his knight development a little clumsier, but not in a huge way. I'm rather gonna, I'm gonna take it instead. I'm gonna take it and try to focus some energy on this B pawn here. We got a weakish pawn there, only defended by a knight. I don't think I'm going to be doing the f5 pawn break really. So I'm going to swing the rook over. Hmm. Nah, I don't know. I don't know if, if I'm playing this right, to be honest. Okay. He's got enough firepower to defend this pawn, so we're going to. Instead, try to drop a knight in here. <coughs> hmm. Now we don't want to push this up because we don't want to open this bishop's diagonal. Basically what we're doing is we're getting our queen into the action here. <coughs> Planning a potential checkmate, you know, no big deal.
yeah, just capture here and it captures here and then I capture there and then check me. Yeah. <laughs> People think that's how chess really is, but they have no idea, man. They have no clue. Okay, so we're going to try to exploit this uh, diagonal with the two pieces on it. I think he took it with the wrong knight. Okay. Or did he? Hmm. This is actually a little bit tricky now. We could come here. That basically holds everything together. <coughs> he would love to be able to drop a knight in there or a pawn here. Mm. capture something break up something in this king side and just tuck away so we have a pawn to target we either come in here promote a trade Maybe you can promote a trade. We're attacking pawns, we're promoting trades, we're attacking pieces, we're attacking more pieces. A lot of stuff happening for us here. And we deliver a check. I'm tempted to capture this, but gives him an opening. We don't want to give him that opening. Sorry. Okay, thanks. Bit desperate. We'll now trade the queens. Okay. Good night and thank you. Well, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been back in the chess circuit. I uh, hope you all have enjoyed this one game. Let's have a quick look at the game review. Let's see what we can learn. Not my best game, but not a bad one. Standard opening. Oh. So I thought this was my amazing move, but in reality, I should have just gone ahead. Now, this seems scary to me because uh, if he captures here, then I don't know, the spawn feels a bit loose, but actually, maybe it's not. Maybe that pawn is somehow manageable. It's a complicated game here, like, might have to play moves like this at some point in the game. I don't know. I don't like the look of it, to be honest. All right. Okay, so this is another. All the all the moves where I thought about it for a while, I seem to make the wrong move. This was one of my initial thoughts to just make it a little bit clumsier for his knights to develop, but. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> hmm, interesting. So this whole rook idea here was an incorrect idea. I should have gone with the f5 pawn break from the get-go, basically. Uh, 
yeah, this was now a very complex tactical situation. What what is it really suggesting? Something like this. Yeah, I buy it. It's a good good position. Okay. I should have pushed the pawn up, obviously. Okay. Some bad moves from both of us here. Yeah, I know it was to be taken, but was it really? Let me see. Because, can't see, okay, because the needing threats must be so strong that. Let's see that again. Okay, let's do it with a computer. So here, if I play queen takes, and he take plays queen takes here, <coughs> now queen check, king h2, bishop f4 check. All right, king h1, and then. Queen capture stroke. So that's the technique there. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, cool. Thank you and catch you later.